Hey, Seven Ways to Wealth family, you are in for a treat. You're about to learn how to transfer wealth. That's something that we don't think about, and it's definitely something that we don't talk about, right? We have wealth. We're so focused on making a million dollars, but how are we going to transfer that million dollars? That is the question that you want to ask yourself, right? So you probably have a house, a car, some money in the bank, a life insurance policy, some crypto lying around. You have a lot of assets, but unfortunately, those assets are in your personal name. And that is not a good thing. I know you think that ownership is the goal, the end all be all, but in fact, it's not. The goal is not to own all these assets and then just collect them on a mantle, right? The goal is to control the assets. The goal is to obtain the wealth and be a good steward of the wealth. So let me let you know on a little secret. What you want to do is you want to own nothing but control everything. I know you've heard this term before and I need you to get it in your head. Own nothing but control everything. So let's break that down really quick. What does that mean? Own nothing. So that means that you are not the owner on paper of your wealth, of the assets that you have. Okay, so it's not ownership that we're aiming for. The second half of it is control everything. So what does that mean? That means that you are the controller of all the assets that you obtain. That's the goal. The goal is for you to control the house. The goal is for you to control the, the bank account and the cars and the crypto. That is the goal not to own it on paper, because guess what? If you own it on paper, that means that somebody can take it from you because it's in your personal name. That then becomes a liability. You don't want that to happen, why? Because you are in the business of creating wealth that's going to last for generations to come. And you have to protect that wealth. So let me ask you a question. All those assets that you have right now, how are they going to be transferred from your personal name to your child's name or to your spouse's name? Whoever is going to inherit your assets. That is the question. And so the answer is, if it's in your personal name, the only way that it's going to be transferred to your child's name is by way of a judge. That means that your child has to go to court. You don't want that to happen. So to avoid that from happening, the way that we're going to transfer our wealth is by utilizing a trust. So you are going to actually create a trust estate. So the goal is not ownership, but stewardship. So what does stewardship mean? Stewardship means that you are a good guide or steward of your wealth. That means that you are controlling the wealth, you are leading the wealth in the right direction, you are growing the wealth, you are protecting the wealth, you are multiplying the wealth. That's what a good steward is. And that's what you are. So instead of ownership, you're going to aim for stewardship, okay? So instead of that house being in your name, that house is now going to be in the name of a trust, okay? So with those assets that are in a trust, that particular trust is going to have beneficiaries. And these beneficiaries are going to be your next of kin. So if you were not to wake up tomorrow, 
who would you want to inherit your wealth? Who would you transfer it to? That person is the person that you're going to choose to actually be your beneficiary and the inheritor, okay? So how do they inherit the properties? Well, since you've established a trust and now your trust is the owner of your property, the beneficiaries is, let's just say your children. Let's just say that you have four children, right? The trust is actually, once you're establishing it, going to create trust certificate units. Those trust certificate units are going to have beneficial interests attached to it, okay? So that beneficial interest is identical to ownership interest but we don't use the term ownership when we're talking about a trust why because a trust is a living breathing entity and so no one can in a sense own a trust that's understandable so you have beneficial interests in a trust and they're given to you or the beneficiaries by way of a trust certificate unit. It's just like a stock certificate. So you know how a stock certificate, you actually have ownership interests in that company or corporation. So for example, let's just say that I'm a stakeholder or a shareholder with one of the big companies like Apple, right? So that means that I have a stock certificate that's representing my ownership or shares in that corporation. The trust is the same way. So you have what we call trust certificate units that is going to represent your beneficial interest or ownership in the trust. Those trust certificate units are dispersed to the beneficiaries. So typically, we will establish a trust with 100 trust certificates and we disperse it to the beneficiaries, okay? So let's just say, for example, that you have four beneficiaries, you have four children, and you want them to have equal beneficial interests. That means that you're gonna distribute 25 trust certificate units to every single beneficiary and it's going to be equivalent to the 100 trust certificate units so that's a beautiful process it's representing that each beneficiary has 25 percent of beneficial interest so for example let's just say that the trust just generated one hundred thousand dollars and that money is due for a distribution well those for beneficiaries that have an equal interest of 25 TCUs are each going to receive $25,000 of that $100,000 distribution. Okay, so that is what beneficial interest is. So now let's go back to how we're actually transferring the wealth. Okay, when we are transferring the wealth, you are giving those TCUs to the beneficiaries and when the trust is terminated, let's just say 100 years into the future, the trustee at that time has to deed over the properties, the assets, or the money in the trust fund transferred to the beneficiaries, okay? So those assets actually belong to the beneficiaries, but that's only going to happen when the trust is no longer in existence. So the goal is definitely to renew your trust, okay? So you don't want your trust to expire. You want it to continue on for generations and generations to come. So that means that every time it's due for a renewal, the trustee is going to renew that trust, okay? So those TCUs are super important because it represents the transfer of wealth, okay? So that's how we are going to represent the ownership in the trust, even though we don't use that term, okay? So TCUs are very, very, very important. Remember the goal. 
The goal is to own nothing but control everything. So you want to get your trust set up as soon as possible. So if you don't have a trust, then you want to head over to WealthyTrustee.com so that you can establish your trust and start building generational wealth the right way and get your affairs in order so that you can transfer your wealth the right way. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel like this video and I will see you in the next video.